That's how great America is. This is a true story. One time I was walking outside and I was minding my own business. And by the way, every young black male has a story that starts that way. And I was minding my own business and, and out of nowhere, these four police officers came out of nowhere and they pulled guns on me and they forced me down onto the ground. And they handcuffed me and I remember getting a scratch on my face from my face sitting sidewalk. And then they stood me up and they flashed this floodlight in my eyes. And it was all because I fit a description. And that happens every single day here. And I would rather go through that every single day in America than get my master's degree in North Korea. <laughs> You understand what I'm saying? Like, I'm starting to appreciate slavery <laughs> for the blessing in disguise that it was. And I know that sounds cold. You know, it's like, how can a man say he appreciates slavery? But you guys got to understand, if it weren't for slavery, you guys, I would be in Africa right now. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying to you? Like, they have AIDS there. And not the happy I'm gonna buy the Dodgers AIDS. I'm talking the real deal. Like, the scary AIDS. It's Africa. You know what makes me appreciate America? Is that I realized that it's kind of fucked up. And I've accepted that. And I've moved on as you should, have moved on. You know what I mean? Like, you can't, you can't think about, like, what America does, you know? You can't love America with your mind. Because if you do, you're gonna see some shit that's gonna fuck with you. Like, you gotta love America the way your grandmother loved your grandfather, you know? Like, like you gotta overlook some shit, you know? Like, do the kids across the street have his eyes? I don't know, just keep praying and talking to Jesus, you know? That's how you love America. Like, I know that a lot of the world thinks America's kind of fucked up, right? And, and I gotta be honest, my relationship, my relationship with America is kind of weird. You know, my relationship with America is best compared to a husband and an abused wife. You know, it's like, sure, to the rest of the world, America may seem like an asshole, but you don't know America like I do. <laughs> America's good to me. Sometimes I just need to learn to shut the fuck up and, <laughs> and make America a sandwich. <laughs>